going on a trip soon and I have very little time to get my travel journal made because I just have a lot of things that I've got to get done before we go. So I decided to work with the with a 6x6 pad and just use that one 6x6 pad. Whatever papers are in here is what I'll use. Um, and I'm going to add maybe some stamps. I have a camera stamp that I might add. I did pull out a ledger stamp so that I can uh, stamp a few of the papers and make them to where it's easier to write on. I've also, to attach the, the pages together, I decided the fastest way to do this was just to use some jump rings. And I had these, these are, I don't know where they came from. One of the craft stores, they're really old. Um, they're decent colors for this project, but that's not that important anyway. I just need something to hold uh, the pages together. So I'll also need a hole punch. So what I'm going to do is just go through and start pulling out some papers. And I'm looking in particular for ones that have um, a light color on the background, especially something that has a ledger paper. That'd be great. But something that I can write on. So it's okay if it has some print on one side, but it's got to have something that I can write on on at least one side of the papers. And of course I love things that have this travel sort of theme, so those are uh, possibilities. I don't know that I can write on that. Okay, I can write on that gold. That one for sure. Okay, and I'll just keep going through and pulling out the papers. Okay, I found seven papers that have light enough colors on uh, one side that I can write on them. And then, of course, they have some great patterns on the other sides that I can use. I decided to add one more product, and that is some white cardstock. And that's where I'm going to use my ledger stamp. I'm going to stamp some of this white cardstock and then glue some of those pieces to these busier sides, like the stripe in particular. So, you know, I, I can cover a lot of that up and still have a lot of writing room. The other thing that was in the pad were these uh, pages that uh, I can cut apart and use those to design my front cover. So I'm going to trim the tops off of all of these papers and get them ready to put together. Okay, for punching my holes, which end is up on this, um, to I'm going to keep this simple and I'm going to mark, uh, let's see, yeah, I think we can do a half inch down. And I'm just going to come an inch over, an inch over here, and then one in the very center. Oops, center, one, two, three, yeah. That's the center. So those are going to be my three marks. I'm going to use the larger hole on the crocodile. about the crocodile is that I can punch a whole bunch of holes at one time. So I can just lay my papers out here and I can do like three sheets at once or four sheets at once. So I can get through these papers in a couple of passes without having to, to do so many. I just need to stack them. Make sure I have them right side up. I do. The bad thing about the crocodile is you have to clean out its holes. Okay, okay there's two more. So now I'm just going to keep using this pattern and do some of the additional pages. Let me show you one thing about the crocodile that might help you. I know that it's very difficult on me to to press it because the, the handles are so far apart and they need that to get the leverage to punch really good holes through a lot of different materials. But if you put your hands up closer to the the uh, main body of the the um, 
crocodile and squeeze there, you won't have your hands spread so far apart and it's not quite so hard on them. At least that's my experience. You know, it's, it's, you have to try it for yourself and if it's too hard on your hands, use a different kind of uh, punch. But that's just uh, my experience with the crocodile. Okay, I need to decide the order that I want to put the pages in. I think I want to use this globe one on, on the top. I think that'll look good with some of these uh, cut up to go on the front. And I really like this floral, and I'm thinking of putting it on the back. So that's going to be my back page. And then the rest of them, I don't care that much. So I think I'll put the stripe there. Maybe follow that with a, one of the more printed pages. This one's also beige, so... I don't know. Yeah, I don't want the bicycles to be prominent, because we're not going to be biking on this trip. I think that'll be the order. Not spending a lot of time making decisions here, just going ahead and getting these ready to put together. Now, the next thing, I've got to work on the front cover, but I also want to do my um, ledger. So I'm going to stamp um, a few of these white sheets, just a few ledger images, and cut those up. And I'm going to use something simple like, let's see, I need a color of ink that will look good with this. I wonder how the weathered wood would look. I want something that will be easy to write on. And I got that crooked. We'll see how it goes. That looks good color-wise with this. Obviously I did that very, very crooked. So I need to do some more and do them a little straighter here what I get for being in a hurry. Okay, that looks better. Uh, what other color would look good? I like gold color, so I'll probably do one more like this and then clean my stamp and maybe use uh, the old paper to do some more. Okay, and I'm just gluing these on. And I'm just going to glue those on all the sheets that need something. Uh, let's see. This one does for sure. Another glue here. Paper. Mm, I'll probably do this one to one side so you can see a little bit of the bicycle paper anyway. And I really like these little tickets. I don't know that I want to cover up all the tickets. So I think I'm going to go back and trim this one down quite a bit so that I don't cover up all the tickets. Okay, I'm going to cut up anything here that's applicable to our trip, like the come away with me. Even though that's, it's blue and my cover's blue, I may end up putting this somewhere else, but I'm just going to cut up a whole bunch of these as if they were stickers or die cuts that were already, you know, available and just have them ready here to, to glue into place. I'll probably punch this out with a circle punch. Um, the arrow looks good. Can use that. And then over here on this sheet, I may do, you know, like the tickets and this, because there's some more writing space. Um, put this as a border along the bottom edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a bunch of these out. Okay, I picked um, a few to go on the front cover, and even though this is in blue, I decided it was appropriate for the theme. Um, this is my husband and I both going, and this is something from his bucket list. So um, I decided to go ahead and use that blue on blue. It still shows up really good. And normally I would distress the edges of these, but since I'm in kind of a hurry, I'm just going to go ahead and glue those straight down to that page. And then some of the other things, like this, I think would be really cute as a border along that. Um, pack your bags, I may use on one of these other pages. This one I didn't put any paper on. So, no, I don't like that. 
see where else I can find. I might put that there. I don't really have anything there. And the little arrow, something like that. So that's kind of where I'm going with it, and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished uh, product. Okay, I'm done. It's been, I think, less than 40 minutes since I started the project. I can tell for sure once I download the video. So I can put that on the screen as to exactly how much time it took me to do this project. I made it pretty fast. <laughs> uh, I'll have to clean up my table tomorrow, but otherwise I've got uh, my travel journal all done. So here's the cover. A few uh, sticker kind of things on there, and we'll write the location and the date on the front. And then kind of flipping through the pages. Got my jump rings there in place. I just glued one of the tags that I cut out there. I did use the little camera stamp. I don't mind having some blank pages like this because I can um, uh, tape on or staple on some of the memorabilia from the trip. And I took a little bit of the stripe paper and uh, another sheet and put on some of this very plain area back here. And then the back is plain, but it matches my jump rings. So, Anyway, that's my travel journal. Thank you for watching, and uh, just another use for your 6x6 paper pen.